Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? And I'm wondering how much of these physical endeavors that you've put yourself through is based in that. And if I'm off base, I'd, I'd love to talk about it because I want to know what that is. Like, what is it that drives someone to suffer in the way that you have physically? Yeah, it's a great question. It's a great concept. And, and, I, and I do, it does really resonate with me because, you know, I'm sure that, everyone has this to a certain degree uh, and everyone that's listening if, if you don't agree with me then you're living in denial but we oftentimes will beat ourselves up at work in relationships with friends and whatever situation because we think it's what we should do or we think it's what's expected of us or we or we've been told we need to do it that way by our parents or our boss or our spouse or whatever right and it's like if we're overachieving, if we're driven, even if we're driven out of fear or failure or whatever, then we're going to try to accomplish that thing, whatever that thing is. But in the end, it is a little bit empty because unless it's the thing that we really wanted, like where you could say it's not for a charity, I'm not getting a sticker, I'm not, nobody's watching me, nobody's taking my picture and posting it on some website saying, look what, look, you know, look what Michael did, right? There, there, if you're just doing it for you, that's a very powerful empowering wonderful thing because like i wrote about this in, in, in my book winning in the middle of the pack how great is it to know that nobody's watching and nobody cares i mean that's a very freeing thing because then it means i'm doing it for me and if it's not important enough don't do it this is fine because nobody cares and nobody's watching anyway but if it's important to you to find out what you're made of then it's like it's freeing that nobody cares that nobody's watching that you don't get a medal that it's nothing it's nothing other than to see what I'm made of. And, and, and it's, it's, it's mind boggling for me. It's a little more like for you, it's, it's, it's more power and strength and endurance and, and fast twitch and that kind of stuff. For me, it's, uh, it, 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 I found a little more meditation in the longer, slower stuff. And, um, I, I remember I had to rewire my brain to be able to settle into that mindset. So super quick, I'm, I'm, getting ready to do a 50 mile run, one of the first 50 mile runs that I've done. And it's held the last weekend in June in Vegas. It's called running with the devil. Okay. 121 degrees. That's what the high with that day was going to be. And I, I raced to the start line. I'm a few minutes late. I'm cursing myself. I'm such an idiot. I jump out of the car. I get to the fit, uh, start line and I start running And the first quarter mile is like straight uphill. And I'm like, really? Like, seriously, you're going to make us run uphill for a quarter mile? And then I look at my watch and it's like 91 degrees at 6 a.m. And I'm like, 6.05 a.m. I'm like, really? Like, what has to be this hot? And I started going, dude, nobody paid you to be here. Like, like what change your attitude? Like, get a different perspective. Because honestly, if you go home, nobody's caring. Nobody's, nobody's going to care. Nobody's watching you. Stop being, you know, stop being a whiny bitch and just do it. If you want to do it, change your perspective. And then I said to myself, Michael, I go, perspective, huh? I wonder what that means to change your perspective. And I had this self-talk with myself, super deep, meditative self-talk with myself. And about four hours later, Michael, I hit the turnaround, 25 miles. And I went, holy shit. I just spent like four plus hours thinking about one word, perspective, and how you could change it, how you could apply it to yourself, and blah, 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 blah. And I had this like beautiful self-talk thing where I go, ah, oh, man, you know, you could accomplish whatever you want to accomplish if you're doing it for the right reasons.